Hello everyone. My name is Satyajit Patnaik and welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we talked about some of the features of Python. Why do we use Python? Why it has come into the market and why it is often used in the analytics field as well and all the features, right? We already studied about the basics of Python as in uh, what are the features of Python and why are we interested in Python? Let's get started from the basics itself. So this is going to be our first chapter and in this video, I shall be talking about uh, uh, keywords, how to install Python and all those things. Now to install Python in, on your machine, you can go to uh, this python.org slash downloads link. I'll be also sharing the link in the description below. And you can also go to the Anagonda link, which is provided here. Now let me show you, you can go to this particular link, you can obviously find the latest version for Windows or if you are using Mac, you can just scroll down and you will be able to find the link for each and every versions, right? So eyes would be to go for 3.7 because it's quite stable and oftenly in use as of now. But yeah, 3.8 is also in the market. It has some, some of the development issues going on like there are some bugs, some issues in 3.8, but yeah, it's all up to the user. It's all up to the developer, which version you want to use. Like from 3.6 to 3.7, from 3.7 to 3.8, there will be minor changes in the code if you're migrating from the organizational point of view. But yeah, as of now, we are interested in learning. So you can download any of the libraries, any of the Python versions, and you can simply get started with it. Now you can also go to this particular anaconda.com slash products and you can also download anaconda package as well. Slowly, uh, we will also be understanding about the future steps as well. Like what else do we need on the go? We will be installing certain libraries as well. Once you're done with the installation, it's recommended to go to anaconda prompt. Now, obviously you have your anaconda installed. I'll also be sharing with the installation guide in, in the description below. Go here and just type, you're getting an output. That means your Python installation is successful. And then, yeah, you obviously you can open up your ID and do a testing. Okay, now I think we are done with the installation part as of now, like you can, uh, you can follow the instruction provided in the description below and get it installed. In case you have any doubts, leave your comments and I will shall get back to you immediately. Once your installation is done, now we are all set to get started with Python. Now let me talk about variables and then we will also have a hands-on coding uh, experience as well, how to initiate a variable and all those things. Now variable, you can consider a variable to be a temporary storage space where you can keep changing values. Assigning values to a variable. To assign values to a variable in Python, we will use the assignment, which is your equals to operator. Now there are different variables we already know about integer variable, float variable, uh, string variable. So you can easily define any variable like, like the examples shown in the screen. In Java, we have to define if you are, if you are initiating an integer variable, we have to define it as int a equals to 10. It's not the case in Python. Simply if you define a equals to 10, it will automatically identify it as a integer value. Similarly, if you de declare a equals to 10.0 or 10.1, it will automatically identify it as a float variable. Okay. So as, as I already mentioned, no need to declare the data type of the variables done in other programming languages. Now we will also have a hands-on round, but yeah, let's move ahead and understand what are keywords. So keywords are nothing but these are special reserved words which convey a special meaning to interpreter or compiler. It can be used as a variable. Now, obviously, uh, these are the basics of Python. So as and when we get started with the direct coding sessions, or you can say the advanced topics, we shall be using these keywords more often. So as and when we use it, I will just let you know that these are the keywords. So a few of the example keywords are as follows. Def. Now, when you declare a function, now what is a function? Obviously, I'm not sure if you are already knowing about other programming languages. If you're not coming from a programming background, definition is something 
which you want to define and you want to get your outputs. So based on that, it, so it's kind of, it takes an input, does some uh, operations and provides you an output. Okay, it's basically a function. So to define a function in Python, we have to declare the def uh, keyword. So def something colon and inside that we'll have to write the code. I'll show you that else if so these are also some of the other keywords if else so if this do this else if do this else do this right something like that now else if is also known as elif in python we don't write else if as we write in java continue break finally from from we can we often use from when we are importing some library from xyz import this something like that return return is also a keyword like in the function if you want to return something let's say you want to add two input values like your function can be def add in the brackets a comma b that means you're expecting two values inside that what you can do is c equals to a plus b return c that means your c will be returned with the value of a plus b as simple as that so return is also one of the keywords Lam lambda is also a keyword we will study about lambda in the functions part after that we have accept import none so all these are various keywords in 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 python now i have already opened my jupyter notebook in case you are using some other uh, ide it can be pycharm or spider or anything uh, obviously uh, you might have already installed it so you can use your uh, platform for like don't have any restrictions on that part but yeah as and when you are seeing me write any code I request you to also write the codes in parallel so that it will give you a good hands-on understanding as well now initially we, we talked about variables right we don't have to define if we are creating an int variable we don't have to define it as int like in Java we can simply do a equals to 10. Now, if I want to see what is the type of a, like is it integer, is it a float, is it what? So you can see a is integer. So Python has automatically interpreted a as an integer. Now, if I define a is equals to 10.1, now I will do type of a. See, it's float. So Python already understands that it's a float variable let's define a string variable like my string can be string or let's say welcome string welcome to the python course now if i just click on type of welcome string now it's it's telling me that it's a string and one of the another one of the other, another examples can be like how to print some variables to print some variables you can use your print keyword print welcome string so it's print it's printing welcome to the python course similarly if you want to do some operations let's say a equals to 10 b equals to 5 c equals to 10 plus 5 maybe something like that or sorry a plus b print c so c is 15 so these are the basics and and yeah uh, let's understand about that definition keyword def of let's say i'm doing a sum of two numbers i'll pass a and b you don't have to worry about the exact format of this code we will talk about it in the future i'm just talking about the def keyword how to use it so you have to write your codes like this maybe c equals to a plus b return c something like this and if i call my function sum of two numbers let's say 10 comma 5 see it's returning c so i don't have to print c separately it's already returning so all these def return print type all these are keywords and these are the variables a is a variable here also a is a variable welcome string is a variable right 
So that's all about the variables and the keywords part. In the next video, we shall be talking about the various data types in Python. So stay tuned uh, and uh, look out for the ne next chapter. Uh, that's it. And if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe this video among your friends. Thank you.